Okay, we're going to bleed the brakes on this bike here, hydraulic system, uh, with the Avid Elixir brakes. Elixirs are probably the most technical out of all the brakes to bleed, so if you can bleed these ones, you'll be able to do any of the other brakes quite simply. Now to start off, just sit in, the, band, in the, the bike stand close to the actual riding position of the bike, so wheels fairly level, a little bit nose down won't hurt, just to keep the reservoir at the highest point of the, uh, the system. To start off with, we're going to remove the front wheel, quick release, and we're going to put in just a brake wedge. Removing the front wheel just gives us a bit more access around the bike. So this is the brake wedge. Normally you'd remove the pads from the system in case you contaminate the pads when you're bleeding it, but this one we're going to replace the brake pads after the bleed anyway. So brake wedge in, pops into place like that, and we're ready to start the bleed. Make sure before you bleed the system what type of fluid it uses. Uh, you brake systems used uh, on mountain bikes, we use either dot fluid or a mineral oil. Uh, Avid brakes use a dot fluid, dot four or five. Avid bleeding kits use two syringes. Now to start off with, we need the Torx driver to remove the bleeding ports from the caliper and the lever. Okay, bleeding port situated up here. So. Straight in and out. You won't lose too much fluid because it's a sealed system and we haven't released the bleeding port from the, the lever, so it's basically held in. You get a little bit of overflow, but nothing too major. Avid bleeding syringes have a, a plastic lock on the hose. You can release it and seal the system without having to close the actual system on the bike. So what we do, we make sure that there's no air left in the system and we make sure that the fluid is pushed through all the way to the end of the attachment. Now screw it onto the caliper. And leave the system locked. Once again, release the bleeding port from the lever. So, and attach the second syringe to the actual lever. This one won't matter so much that there's air in it because we're going to be pumping fluid through from the bottom up into this lever. So this, this cylinder will be catching all the air out of the system. Okay, so getting the caliper bled first, lift up the lever, unlock the clamp on the hose. We also need to unlock the lever, uh, the hose clamp on the lever syringe as well. Now we want to move two thirds of this fluid into the top syringe. And there we are. Clamp off the top hose. And go back down to the bottom syringe. What we want to do now is try and get the air out of the caliper. So we apply a slight vacuum by drawing back on the syringe. And then a little bit of force to push into it. What we're looking for here is any bubbles coming out of the, the actual caliper. So just repeat that a few times, making sure that there's no air bubbles coming through. Don't pull back too hard on the syringe, otherwise you'll just draw air in around the fitting on the actual caliper. So just light pressure. We've drawn the air bubbles out of the caliper. Now gently pull just with one finger the lever all the way to the bar while keeping pressure on the lower syringe. Now gently apply pressure to the lower syringe and with your top hand you'll feel it just wanting to slowly push the lever out. Don't let it spring out, 
just keep the pressure on both as it slowly draws the lever out. Until it's all the way out. Close off your lower syringe while keeping pressure on the actual fluid and remove from the bike. Reinstall the bleeding screw. And clean off the excess fluid. Moving back up to the lever, lift the syringe up, keeping all the air into the top of the syringe. Release the hose clamp and just gently like we did on the caliper, apply a bit of force and then draw back. Same deal as the caliper, we're looking for any air bubbles to be coming out of the actual hose. Pump the brake a few times and repeat. As you can see a few bubbles come through that time. This is a part you don't want to rush on these brakes. Avids can be a bit tricky when it comes to this part of the bleed. And if you don't take your time here, you'll be doing it again. Just very slow, hold the draw, making sure that all the fluid's out. One last press of the lever. Apply force to the syringe plunger and lock off the hose. Now we're going to remove it from the bike. And reinstall the bleeding port screw. You do want to see a little bit of fluid coming out once you've removed the syringe from the lever. If you have any air pocket in there, you know that you haven't quite got all the air out. Once again, wipe down the system with a rag. And some hydraulic cleaning fluid or isopropyl alcohol. and just make sure that the system works. Now we can remove the bleeding plug and reinstall the wheel. Done. Brakes bled.